Hello friends, welcome back. In this tutorial, we are going to learn about how to download any file through our application from the internet with the help of Android Download Manager. So there are basically various other ways to do this task, but Android Device Manager is the most efficient and easy to implement because we get that from the Android system itself, and we can delegate that uh, downloading task to uh, the Android Device Manager, and it will conduct even if the file is too large. It also handles few related things like once we click on download, then while the download is uh, progressing, it also shows us a notification along with the progress bar of how much download is completed and it also shows the notification when the download is complete. So that things it can handle by itself. We don't need to do anything for that. So let's jump into our Android Studio and see how to implement that. So here I am in an empty Android Studio project with a very few modifications. Well, let us first see how what we are going to implement. So this is the application I have built uh, the running on my phone. So I will be going to download one simple image using the Android Download Manager. So I have created one button here which uh, states that start download. When I click on this one and I get the download complete and we also get the notification ringtone as well. And uh, when I click on, uh, when I see the notification, uh, it is there, download complete. So when I click on this one, an image is getting shown. That this image I was willing to download and it has been downloaded successfully by the Android Download Manager. So let's see for wise how we are going to implement that. So here in the XML layout, I just created a button with the text as a start download and given it an ID button start download. So in the main activity, uh, what I will be going through, I want to I want such functionality when I will click on the start download, the download will be handed over to the Android Download Manager and our, my file will be downloaded. So at first we will be trying to download some image. Before that, I am going to first uh, uh, I'll click our button this listener r dot added dot btn start download dot set on click listener. In this I'll call one method start download. Let's create this method outside. Yes. In this matter, we first need to create an instance of the download manager. So for that, we will create var. Uh, let's get val download manager equal to. And as the download manager is a service, we need to get it from the uh, get system using the get system service function. Get system service, and we need to pass the service class, which will be a download manager double colon class dot java now our instance is ready now we need to create one request that will enqueue using the download manager so let's create the request well request equal to that will again start from download manager dot request in this we need a uri so we can just uh, type our url in our uh, at the string format and we can use a dot uri uh, dot to URI function to convert it into URI. So for that, I have a few links here. Uh, first one is an image link. So we will first try to download an image. So I'll make it dot to URI. And again, dot set MIME type. So MIME is basically a data type. Uh, uh, it represents what type of data it is. So here we can just write image slot slash jpg. Now set title. What will be a name of the image, including its uh, uh, suffix? So we can just write image dot jpg. So this will be a name of the, the image. What uh, what will be downloaded? We can also set this uh, title as a, uh, as a dynamic. Again set allowed network types. So as uh, I have just discussed, it also helps us to allow uh, so to add some constraints. If the download uh, is a uh, is download file is very large, then we have an option here to only allow it when the user is connected to Wi-Fi. So we can just uh, set it like this. Again, download manager dot request dot we get here network Wi-Fi and network mobile. So I'll just keep it here uh, network Wi-Fi for now. Dot set notification visibility. So 
so as i have just discussed notification will also be handled by the download android download manager but we also have the option to uh, set its visibility we get few options in this so let's have a look download manager dot request dot we get four options here first one is visibility visible notify completed so if we selected this then all our notification progress and not, uh, download sorry, download progress and download completed notification will be visible everything will be visible if we selected this first option the second option is visibility visibility visible it will show when the download is in progress but once download completes no notification will be shown in the third visibility visible notify only completion so as its name suggests it will only show the notification once the downloaded file is completed it will not show the uh, progress indicator in the notification and last one is a visibility hidden so as its also name suggests it will not at all show any notification for our download task so we want to see everything uh, regarding our download so i will be going to select first option now set destination in external public dir we are going to use this method to assign a destination directory so we can just assign a destination directory as a downloads so we can get that from a environment dot directory download and it wants a second want a second parameter as a sub path so we can set the sub path as the same image dot jpg yes we are good with the, all these five parameters now we need to enqueue request to a download manager so we'll just type download manager dot enqueue and uh, we'll pass this request so that's it yeah that's the only thing we need to do this few lines of code will do everything for us now uh, we want to listen to the event when the download is uh, completed so for that we can also create a one uh, broadcast receiver for that so let's right click on this one new kotlin file we'll create download listener that will be a that will extend from broadcast receiver and as we know broadcast receiver needs to implement this on receive method in the on receive we will first check if intent dot action equals to android dot intent dot action dot download complete so we will uh, listen to this uh, intent action and if it matches then we will again check if uh, we will first check uh, what is the id of the download so let's write well id equal to intent dot get long extra so the id will be a long type so add we'll just write download manager dot extra download id so this will give us a uh, download uh, id which the down download uh, which download has been just completed in the second it uh, asks for a default value which is the long so we can just put minus one but we also need to put l here no double quote required here yes now we'll check if this id is not equal to minus one l if it is not equal to minus one l then our download is completed so we can just write a toast message here uh, we can just write a context and download with id dollar id completed yeah so that will show us a toast when the download is complete now we need to register this receiver in our android manifest before that we also need to add an internet permission here because we generally forget to add that and we end up uh, getting some exceptions so make sure to add this internet permission here and then uh, before closing of the application we can uh, declare our this receiver and we also need to set exported equal to true so that our app should be able to listen to the broadcast and uh, intent filter inside this and here action 
android colon name so it will not auto populate here so we just need to copy this config from here to paste it here so it will uh, receive this type of whenever this type of event happens so that's it that's only thing we need to do now let's start running our application and see if it works so now our application is running and i'll click on the start download button as well as notification download complete and let me click on this one and it redirects me to the image which i have just downloaded so this is how android download manager works we can also download the video also in the similar way so let me change this to mp4 <coughs> and this one as well and this one as well mp4 so we can name it as a video video dot mp4 here here and here as well okay and i need to change this link i have one link for the video i can just uh, paste it here to and the android download manager will download a video for us so let's rerun our application only these things we need to change and i click on this start download so this download might be click on again yeah. our download has been completed and we can just click on this notification in order to play the video and yes we are able to see the video as well so this is how you can simply put any file here uh, whether that uh, that may be a zip file or rar file whatever type uh, file it is you just need to make uh, this uh, mima type matching to that and also this uh, extensions so your file will be downloaded whatever type of it may be and the last thing that i would like to show you by downloading a large amount of video so that you should be able to see the progress indicator in the notification for that i have again have a link for the long video here so i'll just copy this long and this is an AVA, so I need to paste the AVI here and I'll also write here AVI dot AVI. Let's make it a video one, video one, sorry, not video one, and here video one dot mp4. So that's fine. We can rerun our application and see how the download works so let me clear the previous notification and now i click on start download here so the download has been started we can see this you know notification and you can see that uh, 14 minutes are left and you can also see the progress bar here so this is how android download manager handles everything on our behalf so this is how we can offload the downloading task to the Android Download Manager. It's quite reliable, easy to implement as we have just learned. I hope that is clear to you. If not, you can put your doubts in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer those. If you like this video, then please click on like, share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to this channel so that you will be always stay updated whenever the new video is published. We'll meet in the next tutorial with some other interesting topic. Till then, goodbye. Have a good day.